Welcome back everybody. I got an interesting video for you today and it could even be considered educational. Now as a lot of you know there are some states and cities that require solar panels as part of their new home construction regulations. If a builder wants to build a new house it's got to have solar panels on the roof. Now to take it one step further there is even a state out there that is now requiring the house to have a battery in it. Battery powered houses coming to a state near you. If you watch this channel at any length of time, you know that I'm kind of into this technology. I've got a lot of solar panels, a lot of different battery systems. The entire month of September, I spent living off the grid off of one kilowatt of solar and a battery bank. This movement towards solar and battery has brought a lot of new technology and a lot of new products to the market. The Anchor Solex 3800 is a large capacity storage device for your house. Now the base unit has 3.8 kilowatts of storage and in its maximum expandable capacity it has 53.8 kilowatts of storage. For comparison's sake my battery bank that I lived off of for a month is only 4.8 kilowatts and at the very most I've only drained that down to about 65%. That's watching a movie on a big screen TV. That's using electricity for all our cooking. You can go quite a ways off of 3.8 kilowatts. So that 3.8 kilowatts can easily replace a gas generator in the event of a power outage. Now if you add some solar panels, 600 watts, 1000 watts, you can extend the capabilities of the base 3800 even longer. You don't have to charge it just from solar power. You can also charge it from the grid by, by plugging it into the wall. It has a 6000 watt output capacity. This will give you the ability to operate multiple appliances at the same time in your house. It has both 120 volts and supports 240 volts. So all your 240 volt appliances, you can power most of them with the Anchor Solex F3800. That 240 volts also gives you the capability to charge an electric vehicle. I think that's kind of cool. I personally don't have an electric vehicle. It just doesn't work for me. But I have a lot of electric bicycles. And you know how I like to charge those electric bicycles from the sun. This is more than just a standalone battery that you just plug things into. You can wire this into your house electrical panel with their home power panel. So you can hire an electrician. They can come out and get this hardwired directly into your house. Earlier I was talking about how you could use this as a backup power supply in the event of a power outage. You can wire it up to an inlet box and a transfer switch. So as soon as the power goes out, lightning cracks, bang, the power goes out. Instantly, the transfer switch kicks in and your house has electricity. So my ideal situation in my house would be to have about 20 kilowatts of battery storage and one or two of these F3800s. Uh, you can combine two of them together and have a massive battery capacity. I'd also have about four kilowatts of solar on the roof and I would like to disconnect from the grid. So I don't have to worry about the power company, the power bill, any of that. Live completely off the grid. I might use this workshop as like a, a test building. This is a standalone building. I have enough storage in here for maybe 10 kilowatts of batteries. I could fit maybe three kilowatts of solar on the roof, kind of test the system out. And if it works, I could also send power back to my house through the wire that connects to my sub panel over here. Just something that I'm, I got in the back of my mind. I think it would be kind of a cool project to have a completely off the grid building that feeds your house. And maybe I could just upsize that system, transfer it over to the house, and maybe even use this building for three kilowatts of solar and have four kilowatts on my house. To have seven kilowatts of solar, I'd never have to pay an electric bill again. The Anchor Solex F3800 supports AC coupling. That means that you can connect to both your solar array and the grid. And as the power cycles in your house go up and down, the F3800 figures out whether it needs to draw power from your grid or power from your solar array. Of course, there's an app for that. 
they got an app that allows you to connect to the Anchor Solex F3800. You monitor the electricity coming in. You can monitor the electricity going out. You can monitor temperatures. All of it is available through their app. Last but not least, it comes with an RV port. So you can plug your camper right into the F3800. It'll easily support all your camper's 120 volt needs. You can run your air conditioner off it, coffee maker, microwave, no problems. With that 6,000 watts of capability, you could be making a cup of coffee and blow drying your hair at the same time. Join the Anchor Solex F3800 Kickstarter and you can get up to a 45% discount. There's also exclusive benefits. The link for that will be in the top of the description and the first pinned comment. I wanna open this topic of solar and batteries up to discussion. Do you guys have solar on your roof that ties to the grid? Does anybody out there have a battery system that can power their house or supplement the power to their house? Instead of selling that power back to the power company, do you store it and then start selling it back? There's a lot of options with solar panels. I'd love to hear from you. Put those down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.